So what is going on people, it is Kim here, welcome back to the journey, this is episode 5, um, we're jumping straight in with the game actually early on in this episode, hopefully um, manage to pick up 3 points again, we won't be starting the game, we'll will be on the bench of course, on your right there, you guys can check the, uh, the social media in case you missed it um, last time. Quarter of an hour left. On comes Alex Hunter. Here we are, yeah, back on the touchline. Back on the touchline. <laughs> does, does that make sense? I guess, I guess in a way. Standing yeah, next to the man, Arsene Wenger. Um, let's check the score. Coming off, coming on for Gareth Walker. Actually, interesting substitution. But um, yeah, it's Di Maria's debut as well. Against making his debut against Watford. Um, and we are 1-0 up Alexis currently, Sanchez. so started off this Bernard. game pretty well actually, as soon as I came into it that is, Di Maria straight away, bang, goal, 2-0 up, um, up two now. goals on his debut, yeah, we actually ahead. got the earlier goal as, as you guys will probably um, will see uh, later on, but yeah, two goals for him on his Arsenal debut. Bernard. Um, definitely keeping us out of the side so what I've decided Nicely to do now is include ball. all the little passes the and stuff that I do um, and just anything Defended that Hunter first. any some play some that some Hunter some is involved in I'm going to include that corner. rather than just including Arsenal you know chances and stuff because there is a lot of nice build up play that I do do with Happy Hunter but just you know it Hunter. gets it ends Great unsuccessful so I don't um, include it but I've decided to change that now we went close with a header there from the corner as you guys saw that then we played Di Maria through and it's a fantastic save by Gomez actually so we almost had an assist there we created a chance which is nice so because we come on for Walker we're actually playing in Walker's position which is the central attacking midfielder um, I don't know don't know if you guys saw that when we were subbed on but yeah that's, posi the, that's the position we were playing in had another good chance there probably should have done a bit better with that just couldn't quite get the power in there but doesn't matter we do pick up all three points away at Watford thanks to a Di Maria brace on his debut um, even though we failed to score or get an assist I mean when you look at it we're coming off from a bench so I think we can be excluded right now but I will say um, at the minute I'm struggling with FIFA I'm really struggling with FIFA signing. gameplay I will get used to it it's just that I'm I'm literally living at work at the minute so I'm not having much time um on FIFA at all and when I do get a time on FIFA I'm recording so that you know I don't get a chance to prepare myself I know that might sound daft but honestly it does go a long way you do get better at a game the more you play it as you can see um from the game there we actually go up on um the attributes and actually gain some on the the overall now probably about halfway almost halfway uh, through the 63 rating overall so that is all good um bit more social media for you guys are i'm not going to read it out um <laughs> and yeah back into some sort of training, training guys today lovely let's get cracking so we're going to be doing uh, the basic free kicks training now you guys let me know do you want me to keep including the training i think i will do because it does it's funny to watch me fail sometimes and sometimes I do some pretty sick stuff in training. I do better stuff in training than what I do in games. Um, but that's because we're not getting enough game time, you know, at the minute and we're aware of that. But yeah, um free kicks not too bad at actually. I'm not not too bad at them. Um it's penalties are the one for me that I'm just struggling so much with them. You guys saw um earlier on in my my first for sort of episodes and stuff I just honestly I was terrible well, I still am terrible absolutely terrible at penalties I'd be better if you could have the display arrow on constantly because I just can't tell where I'm aiming I can't tell if I'm aiming too far to one side I just honestly really don't know but yeah free kicks as you can see I, that that was a bad bad attempt but the majority of these we smashed we absolutely smashed um, I think I failed on the last, yeah, I failed these last few ones here. But, um, I think I actually, yeah, we nailed that one again. So, you know, free kicks, not too bad at, at all, not too shabby. Now, this was really, really difficult. As you can see, I failed it first time, got an F in that. 
and it was um, delivering. Now this I find hard as well. It's like corners. Um, to be fair, I haven't been good at corners since FIFA fi uh, FIFA 15. Yeah, and I used to score a lot from crossing in FIFA 15. Since FIFA 15, I've honestly really struggled to score from from these sort of positions. You know, from free kicks or like um, free kicks that you've got to cross. I'm, I can't think of the technical name of them. But I really struggle at them, and I really struggle scoring from corners as well. And it's even corners are even tougher, I think, in FIFA 17. Some people prefer prefer them. I personally, I really like FIFA 17. I don't want to bash the game because I think EA have done a really good job adding the journey in there. It's fantastic. It's like watching a little movie. I love it. It's like participating in a movie. It's awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I can watch tons of different YouTubers play through it. I've really liked watching. Um, Matt HD gamers playthrough of it and uh, you know I've enjoyed editing my own as well which is different because sometimes I don't really enjoy that too much we get in the end both A's on uh, both training drills so we get like a nice little attribute boost there and um, Here we go, lads. then managed to get some like free training so we get to you. choose the ones and this was where I went for penalties honestly really regretted this decision just watch some of these penalties guys they're awful but moving back to what I was originally talking about yeah I don't want to bash the game too much like I say I really do like the journey but I wish they didn't change the penalties I was quite happy with penalties before um, I think everybody was but they've made it okay more realistic you run up and stuff which is nice but then the rest I just find too difficult, really too difficult. Um, but you know, whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll um, get used. To, I think that's what it is. I think it's because it's new. You know, we aren't we aren't quite used to it. You guys, this wasn't even my worst attempt. This was my best attempt. I don't want to include my worst attempt because I feel like it'd go on for too long. Because I keeping you know doing the same drill over and over i figured you guys would get bored so i thought i'll show you my best attempt the one that i confirm at the end um you guys you, you know I, I only you only get uh, three attempts anyway but yeah honestly i just oh i struggled so I, i'm struggling so much with penalties as you can see we score one against Jack. We get a C, and honestly, I considered retrying it. Then I thought, you know what, I don't want to put myself through that again. I just thought, I'll take a C. It's not too bad. Um, next up, the dribbling course. I really enjoy doing these. They're really, really fun. They do get a bit annoying. They do get frustrating when they do go wrong. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but when I when I played, I do an Arsenal career mode behind, you know, kind of off crap off camera <laughs> off the camera um but uh, to be fair i haven't been on it for a while now because like i say as soon as i get home and I've, i have time to go on my xbox i'm recording um but yeah when i first bought fifa 17 and i was playing this i was playing arsenal career mode i was doing um a training drill with aaron ramsey and on this bit here somehow i walked into that last wall at the end there you see that last wall the yellow wall I managed to run into that I don't think it was a dribble course I think it was purely a running a sprint course without a ball that's what it was and I ran into one of them it then fell today, Ramsey fell over yep. the wall fell on top of Ramsey and Ramsey he was down for a good 30 seconds I thought I'd killed Aaron Ramsey I re honestly I really wish that I could have, I really wish I recorded it um but yeah some more social media there for you guys and on next final game of this episode against Southampton guys tough game they're kind of Southampton I find in real life a kind of a bogey team for Arsenal we always kind of struggle when we play against them we don't ever really do too well against them um, but I, I, that being said I actually do quite like Southampton they're one of them teams that obviously I don't support them but I, I like them and I, I like to see them do well um, don't ask me why, it's just one of them team, you know, I just so enjoy watching them go, sometimes, to be honest, I think they play Alex really Hunter. well. I was actually quite um, sad that Koeman left, because I thought he was a good, I thought he was quite a good manager, and I really liked what he did there, um, after taking over, you know, from when Pochettino left. 
I actually really like Pochettino as well. I mean, obviously not as much now because he's at Spurs, but um, I actually now do Hunter. have some respect for him. I think Spurs have definitely had worse managers, you know, more scummy managers. Right away. Et cetera, et cetera. Shot, so, yeah, this is why I have included the passing, guys. I do do a lot of nice little short passing. Alexis Honestly, you guys might, not, might think it's not really great to watch. And again, I'm going to start including stuff like that. That was a good chance, Alex Gibbs Hunter. messing that up there. No, you know, no, no disrespect to Gibbsy, but yeah, he should have done better with that there. I'm just trying to include stuff that we participate in so you guys don't think that I'm, I'm that bad. I don't think I'm too bad. Um, we get the three points anyway, 3-0 win. And um, yeah, we need... I just need to... I feel like I just need a bit more time. What I actually did do... Um, I will tell you guys is I boosted the uh, match length to five minutes so each half is five minutes long it was originally on four that's just not enough for me especially when I'm coming off the bench I've literally got about two or three minutes to try and create a goal or score or have, you know at least a couple of really good chances and it's really difficult honestly it's a lot more difficult than what you'd think it it really really is um, we get a nice booster on the overall again there. Hopefully, we can manage to um, just improve, really. Um, and, yeah, get a good rating. Come in. Have a seat, lad. You know, back when I was playing... I used to dream of playing in Europe. Travelling the continent, facing the best of the best. European football. It's a different beast. It's slower, more tactical. As you know, we have to submit a list of players for our games in Europe, and the gaffer hasn't put your name on it. Look, play well, and you'll get your chance in Europe. But just not this season. All right. You will get your chance, Alex. Just all in good time, eh? So, we failed what? to make Europe, guys. It's a bit annoying, really, but um, let me know if you guys managed to get into Europe, because most people I've watched have felt uh, had the same thing anyway that is all from me for now guys all from the journey uh, make sure you subscribe so you can get episode six and the future episodes as soon as possible leave a like rating and drop a comment and i'll see you guys soon